An emotional Jimmy Kimmel remembers Don Rickles in today's Entertainment City. But first, sign of the times, Harry Styles is no longer Harry from One Direction as he makes his solo debut. Harry Styles with his first solo single, Sign of the Times. Just stop your crying, it'll be alright. The song's release, of course, sent Twitter into a meltdown as Styles fans declared it an instant hit. The singer debuted the song Across the Pond in his native Britain on BBC Radio 1. Here's what he has to say about the mournful ballad that some are saying sounds a bit like David Bowie. It's the song I'm most proud of writing, I think. Styles is set to perform on Saturday Night Live next weekend. What I do is exaggerate life and make fun. I don't have to apologize for it. Comedy legend Don Rickles, known as the king of the insult joke, is being remembered by his fellow stars after he passed away from kidney failure at his L.A. home yesterday at the age of 90. The funny man was discovered by Frank Sinatra in the 50s. His comedy career went on to span decades, so it's no surprise he inspired many in Hollywood, including Jimmy Kimmel, who got emotional as he paid tribute to Rickles during his show last night. Uh, well, I'm not good with this sort of thing, and uh, I'm sorry, but we lost someone that we and I love very much. Don Rickles passed away. He was uh, youthful and funny and sharp and generous. Just before his death, Rickles had finished shooting a full season of his internet reality series, Dinner with Don. No word yet on when it will be released. I'm thinking of rubbing. Bank. Morgan Freeman, Alan Arkin, and Michael Caine play three old fogies who team up to rob a bank in the slick new remake of Going in Style. The Hollywood fable about old age in America is directed by actor slash director Zach Braff. Terry Hart chatted with him about the real heist, scoring three acting icons for the flick. Did you even direct them? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get in their way. It was so fun to watch them just laugh and, and dance and, and rowdy. And um, <laughs> And but but the movie's about friendship, and I think that that because they they all were such good buddies, it really resonated and shows on film. I think. Was there one movie that each of you wanted to ask the other one about? We're so old, we can't remember what movies we were in, let alone what movies other people are. <laughs> I have nothing to say for myself. Going in style hits theaters today. Everyone's talking about Reese Witherspoon these days, thanks in large part to her starring role in Big Little Lies. Of course, she's been a Hollywood staple for years and also a fashion staple. And in today's Friday Fresh Edit, we're starting with, you guessed it, Reese. Stylist Afia Francisco is here to tell us how to get this look. We see it in Reese Witherspoon. That's right. It's just a very casual look that we've emulated with these great pieces from Joe Fresh. We can wear this right now through till summer and fall. And what do we have next? Jessica Alba definitely is one to watch when you want to emulate that kind of street style, that casual living. She always hits it out of the park with the casual mom look. That's it. Let's try to do the same thing at home. Of course, it's all about florals when it comes to spring. These shorts are a really cute addition to the wardrobe. A little drawstring waist, super comfortable, and it still looks really elevated when you top it with a great jacket. And leave it to Jennifer Garner, mom of three, to have a quintessential spring look. I love this outfit. I love this one as well, Terry. And you know what? When we saw Jennifer's, hers was a little bit ho-hum. We took basically what she was wearing, but we amped it up in terms of color, print, and a bit of pattern mixing. She could take a lesson from a Fia Francisco, <laughs> I'm telling you. Awesome, as always, get your entertainment news first in the morning, right here and anytime on Twitter, at Ant City.